Okay, so I'm just taking the paint inside the edges. Um, it's gonna cover up any little um, places where I didn't cut the paper perfectly or it didn't fit perfectly. And then um, definitely gonna be adding some probably glazes, maybe waxes. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm gonna paint this whole thing and then see. Okay, I have a really dry brush here and I'm just coming in on top of the paper to bring some of the color in just random places, helping to make this look a little bit more cohesive all over the place. All right, so I've got like two coats of the vanilla frosting on, um, it's drying. And I like the difference in the legs, but I feel like it's just a little bit too dark um, for this overall theme. So I grab Hurricane. Isn't that a great color? Check it out. So, I wasn't sure, but I really love that together. Don't you? Look at that, it's so beautiful. So, um, a lot of times I'll just grab a bunch of different colors and kind of hold them up. Um, I'm visual, you know, I'm visual. I definitely uh, need to see, and I think this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. While it's still darker, it's not as dark as like this espresso color. So um, I'm gonna get going putting this on. So I love to use these sanding blocks and I buy them at medium grit and as you can see, I use them until they can be used no more. <laughs> this paint is so easy to sand. I can choose you know, many different ways to do it. You can wet sand, you can use one of these um, or you can use um, like a steel wool. So a couple different ways. I'm gonna use this and um, just start giving it a little bit more uh, character and dimension. Okay, this is all distressed and I am going to uh, add some glazes, probably some waxes, um, but the first thing I need to do is I need to protect what's on here already. So I'm going to put one coat of the Tough Coat on. All right, so this Tough Coat is awesome. Um, you actually, it is uh, okay to use this on things that are outdoors. And I'm gonna put one coat on everything. Look at how that just pops when you put the coat of um, satin on. All right, so this has one coat of the tough coat on it. It needs to dry for 24 hours. And then I'm gonna come back and um, do some glazes and some fun stuff, so stay tuned. Okay, I am getting ready to stencil. I have my Jamie Ray Vintage stencil brush. I've got a little pile of paint here. I'm gonna need way more. But uh, what I wanna show you is how to offload your brush. So you don't wanna go into your stencil with this much paint on. Uh, you can build up your color, but um, you're gonna get a lot of bleed through if you have a lot of paint on your brush. So I always offload until it kind of feels like there's no paint left, right? And then you're ready to go. And then what I'll do is I'll keep scooping up this paint, keep offloading, and then pour more paint out as I need it. So I talked a lot about how this piece is pretty imperfect. There's little scratches all over the place. I didn't fill any of that in. But what I can do is cover it up so you won't even know it's there. I have this giant stencil and it's just got some like script on it. And so I'm gonna start stenciling this on. One bummer about this piece and this stencil is that I can't really take the stencil on. So I'm just gonna have to hold it. I like to swirl in my color. Um, I know a lot of people like to pounce. I like swirling because it kind of always is pressing the stencil down. When you're pouncing, the stencil has a chance to pop up and go back, especially when it's not taped. So that's why I like to swirl. I 
I ultimately decided that I needed to bring this script around the bottom of this piece as well. It just would have been too stark. I'm still deciding if I'm gonna put it up there. And I'm thinking like, how hard is that going to be with my giant stencil? So, um, yeah, I'm gonna look at that for a little bit and decide what I'm gonna do. This is really hard to hold, but don't worry if you've got like real clumpy paint. I'm gonna sand that all. I wanna just make this all even anyways. So, and I want some of it to be pronounced and I want some of it to fade away. So something like this where I didn't get a really good, um, you know, paint application, that's okay. You know, there's gonna be um, glazes and all kinds of stuff on this. So it's more of a sense of discovery, right? So I'm loving how this bottom part is looking and ultimately I feel like this needs to be done too. And I'm not super thrilled about it because it's gonna be hard. Um, but it's just too stark of a difference between these two things. I need to make it cohesive. And I'm a visual learner. Um, I learn as I go along, and if I left that bare without having this beautiful script um, on it, it would look weird. It would just look weird. So, here I go. So I gotta do this strip down the middle in between the, both of the cabinet doors, and um, I just really am looking to fill the space. It obviously is not going to say anything, um, so I'm looking for just visual interest. And I think this might be fun. So I can only hold it in this middle part. So this is very awkward. Be prepared for your fingers to get full of paint. So that's super cute. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and then I'm gonna try to figure out how on earth I'm going to get a stencil in this really, really deep curve here. So Come along with me. Okay, back at it, friends. Uh, I don't really have a plan here. I'm just gonna improvise. Um, I'm holding it up. It's going to have to be pressed. I'm gonna have to really take my time in there, but I'm gonna do the easy parts first. So, um, again, don't worry if this comes out, you know, whatever your idea of perfect is. You can sand it. Um, there's all sorts of little tricks that you can use. Bring in a little closer here. This area here, the stencil is not really even touching the flat surface. So I'm just kind of taking my brush and pouncing it in there. It's okay if it's not a perfect um, stencil. Some of that's going to be covered up too with the cabinet doors. That is not bad. Okay, so it's a little messy, but I'm totally okay with that because I am going to add, um, well first I'm gonna sand it after it dries, and then I'm gonna add some glazes, so it's gonna be great. I'm just gonna take my sanding block and give this a light sand. 